Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got something a little bit different. This is the Flashforge Adventurer 3 3D printer. So I've, been, I've had 3D printers for quite a long time now, virtually since they came out in the UK when you built your own or you could buy different ones. I've had different ones, I've had a Macabots, I've had some Wanhaus, I've had a Prusa, I've currently got a Tronxy and a Prusa. Um, but I don't have the time to mess about like I used to do. So you'll know yourself if you're into 3D printers, they take a while to set up, you're constantly adjusting the bed, adjusting filaments are different, everything's just a bit of a, a bit of hassle. So I wanted something that was a one stop, one hit, plug it in and it works. So I bought this, I bought it from Amazon, I bought it from Romney, it's not a promo. And I think this is around £330. So it's an all-in-one printer as you can see, it prints in ABS and PLA and other stuff. But the reason I wanted this more than any other printer I've had is the fact that it is ready to go out of the box. Which was a massive thing for me and I'll be honest with you, if this hadn't have been ready to go out of the box and hadn't worked like it said it would have done, it would have gone back. So I'm just going to show you the printer then we'll turn it on and I'll go through some features. So you've obviously got the door and inside here you have, I'm going to have to tilt it. So inside you can see the printer head and the runner, you have two axes on the back and then the bed is non adjustable. So it's on a slider here and then underneath here you've got a little wheel. To get your print off you simply click this and what I love about this it, is flexible so you simply flex it to knock your print off. It really is that easy, that easy to get your print off. It run, so I run this on flash print which is their own software and with that I have no hassle it really has been as simple to print out the box let's turn it round so in here you have your spool it runs on point so this is the one you get with it this is a 300 gram one you get with it just to test it this comes with a printer I ordered a 500 gram one I think the 500 gram one's 12 pound so it's a bit more to with this printer filament, this printer filament prints perfectly. So, as I said, I wanted them at one stop. You simply feed it in up here. It go, you push it in there. It does the rest for you. And then you simply put the cover on. This thing is really quiet as well. I should have pointed that out. At the bottom of here, it's a bit awkward on my desk actually. So on the bottom of here, you have another enough switch and your power port. I'll turn it round and on the other side you have an Ethernet port. This is Ethernet or Wi-Fi, so it's not cabled. This goes it prints straight from your PC and then saves to a file. So this has got inbuilt storage. And then on the other side you've just got a glass cover. So it is capable of printing ABS and PLA. So let me plug it in and I'll show you what it does. Okay, so we're plugged in, I'm gonna turn it on. So it'll just boot up. If you can, I hope you can see the screen here. I'll bring it closer into the camera shortly so you can see it better. So this is touch screen. So it's a little touch screen panel. So on here you've got, it's just loading up. So what it's gonna do now is load the filament back in because it dropped it back a little bit. So it doesn't break. So on here you've got build, tools, and filament so if you hit build it'll obviously start to build but it'll ask me what I want to do so I can build off there it's got I think it's a set 8 gig storage it gives you about six and a half gig which you always do on there and if I click that button there there are my things that are ready to print I've printed these and then I've got USB so I can print from the USB at the front So it's asking me to insert the USB. There, isn't it? So you can just print from a stick, which I'll show you. So I've got some movies on here, I believe. So there you can see the stick. So you can print from there. And if you can see, I've got a run cam case on here. I don't think. Let me see if I can get that closer to the camera. In fact, for this bit, let me just see if I can zoom it in enough. Just bear with me one second. I 
I hope it focuses on that. There you go, you can read that. So if I click on that, it will print that case. So if we go back and back again, I've got tools, so I've got network, so that's how I connect to my network. Preheat, send it to the designated heating, settings and about. If I go into settings, I've got status, show me the print status, I can calibrate if I want to calibrate the bed, I can change the language, I can rehome the printer, I can move the axes, the camera which I'll show you in a minute. So it's got a camera built into it. So if you connect it up to right if you look inside the door here that is actually a camera so I can watch this on my PC or my phone wherever I'm connected up to the cloud the flash forge cloud I can watch it print it's another little feature I forgot to mention that and I also don't know if you can see but you have LEDs in here so it's lighting my hand up and that's the blower to keep pull the filament down I'll get that to be focus again come on Focus it. Sorry about that. It's still blurry, isn't it? So there you go. So I can edit that. Or I can print from that place. I can then turn the LED on and off. I can check my filament. I just be printing to allow you to check the filament, does not it? Yeah. And then I can update through. Either Wi Fi or I have this on Ethernet. Factory reset it. I'll check my brother works. And then here I've got my filament so I can load and change from here. So when I'm printing, I'll let you see this. So if I wanted to build, and I want to build that, you're going to see, if you can see, it's put a picture of the item. That's actually something for a future video. But the I Jumper T12 has a really annoying, horrible little speaker inside it. This is an adapter that you can put inside it to stop the speaker vibrating, and it does actually work. So you can see that, and then you can see other things I've got on here. I don't know what I've got on here, so what? Split mini stuff. So I'll show you the split mini adapter. So I'm going to show you what it printed. So if you look, I love the little picture. So this is this so that's what it printed so it printed this now that's not printed on fine that's printed on normal and that printed in eight minutes the beauty about it is this was the second thing i printed the first thing i printed was the block which comes as a tester and then i printed this i've not set anything up it came straight out of the box and that's what i printed the next thing i printed was this so this is the run cam i've done loads of other things since then but this is the run cam holder get it in focus you can see the quality again this is just at normal not at super fine or anything but you can see the quality I've actually enlarged this a little bit because I have another bit that plugs in here to hold the run cam in so I didn't like the way this was made but you can see the quality is good the, the beauty about this whole printer for me is the fact that it's plug and play it was that easy to work and that easy to set up I didn't have to mess about there was no messing around if you look at that, it tells you how long it's going to take. To print. This is going to take an hour and ten because this is on super fine. I didn't actually print it on super fine, but I've got different settings on here for different ones to print. And it'll tell you how long it's going to be, and that will go up and that will keep going down when you're printing. It'll also tell you on the PC if you've got it connected up and using flash print how much it's using, so you can check how much filament it's used in weight, which is far more important than me than meters because I don't really know how many meters are on here, but I do know that how much weight's on there. So, to me this is absolutely a fantastic piece of thing. A while ago I had a Flash Forge Finder, that was a few years ago, and it was fine. The Red Cube, nowhere near as good as this. But that was a, more than this was when I bought that. I mean, things come down obviously, but let me just focus back out. So, yeah, things come down in price obviously all the time, so, and things will continue to drop. But I think at this price, this is an absolute fantastic find. I'm so happy with that. I've watched quite a few videos on YouTube before I bought it. Quite a few reviews by people that I trust. The 3D printer people. 
and yeah it's fantastic so if you're looking for an all-in-one printer you don't have to do anything with it you take it out of the box you plug it in you've need very little programming skills and very little skills on the 3d printer in other words you don't need to know anything because the software that comes with this that you download the flash print will show you what to do you can download whatever you want from thingiverse and print it this is where these came from these were prints of thingiverse it's so easy to use it's an absolute dream so I'm highly recommending this, can't recommend this highly enough. Like I say, it's £329 and it's the same price from Amazon or the technology outlet. So this came from the technology outlet through Amazon, the only difference is I want to do this next day, because I can't wait. So, thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day.